for the students. So in that last uh, session, I sent a link about to how to make our own touch set. So in that, what did we do? We took two injection bottles. In that injection bottle, we pour sulfuric acid. In that uh, caps of caps of the bottles, we kept one zinc plate and another one is copper wire. So we kept, we inserted inside that cap and that should be zinc inside the sulfuric acid by closing the cap. So one end of the zinc connected with the copper wire, the other end is zinc and copper wire is connected to the LED. So by that the bulb can glow. So here we made our own cell in the previous one. Today we are going to find what are the substances present in the dry cell. You know it very well. In our torchy lights, we are using the dry cells. What are the components are there? How can it made? We can find in this session. So whatever the diagram which is given in our textbook that you have to observe, there the full information is there that how made or how did it make that I am going to explain with the diagram. First we have to draw the diagram, later on I will explain about it. So here the body which is we are observing. So body is this body acts as a negative terminal. Negative. Terminal acts as an into terminal. So here this acts as an into terminal, but it is made up of zinc zinc component. So what is given here? Container. Container. So this is a made with the zinc. It is a container. It acts as a negative terminal it acts as a negative terminal and in the middle in the middle there is a block or rod we are observing so this is called what do we call it it is a carbon rod carbon rod carbon rod so carbon compound it is carbon rod then upon the carbon rod, then there is a metal plate is there. What is there? Metal plate is there. Look here, this is a metal plate. This is a metal plate. So, this is a cap like structure we can find upon that. This is metal plate. So, this here it acts as a positive. Positive terminal. Positive terminal. It acts as a positive terminal. Look here. So, around this, what is around this? Around the carbon rod, some of the carbon compounds are there. What are those? Carbon compounds. These are the carbon compounds. Carbon particles are there. These are carbon. What are those? These are the carbon powder. Carbon powder. These are the carbon powder particles. Next, what we are going to find here around that around the carbon powder some of the aluminium chloride paste is there this is completely aluminium so this is the aluminium what is it aluminium paste is there sorry ammonium 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 
paste ammonia chloride actually the chloride ammonia chloride paste is there so here this is ammonium chloride paste this is a carbon powder this is a carbon rubber and the container is made up of zinc container is made up of zinc look here so the zinc container acts as a negative terminal and the carbon powder and carbon rod along with the metal cap acts as a positive terminal so here due to this uh, ammonium chloride paste and the carbon rod some chemical reactions occur they produce energy so this is a dry cell we can find in our houses so what we are going to discuss once i am going to read this one a dry cell consists of container made up of zinc metal so this is made up of zinc metal so what is the blue color it is appearing to you so this is zinc metal so this is container made up of zinc metal okay so this is made up of zinc metal next what we are going to discuss the container also serves as the negative terminal so what do i say here negative terminal container acts as a negative terminal next next what is given here a carbon rod with a metal cap serves as a positive terminal this is a carbon rod already i gave name and i showed here this is black color what is the this is a carbon rod this is a carbon rod so this carbon rod along with the cap this acts as a positive terminal acts as a positive terminal then the carbon rod is surrounded by mixture of carbon particles and a chemical called ammonium chloride so surrounded by the carbon particles here these are the red color i showed as a carbon particles and the greek uh, green color ammonium chloride paste so that car around the carbon rod carbon compounds are the ammonium chloride paste is there so what is happening here this is sealed from the top so that completely closed with that zinc container so inside the zinc container all is kept and it is sealed the dry cell supply electric current in a circuit for certain time so it produces some electrical power up to certain time itself after that its chemical gets exhausted and it is not be used any more so whatever the chemical they have the power that power transfer certain time itself after that the power discharge are exhausted completed the power afterwards we are unable to use that dry cell so that's what in our houses we observe that some of the uh, cells which we use in our remotes or which we use in our wall clocks so after certain days that cell we remove and we use a new one instead of the old one what is the reason these carbon compound particles and ammonium chloride paste chemical reaction occur and it produces energy whenever the chemical reaction stops which means whenever the power um, completed in that then the battery will not work so we have to remove that and we can use a new one so draw the structure of dry cell and explain about it means you have to write it. you have to draw this picture and write about the particular parts which are present in this the container which is made with the zinc the rod which is made with the carbon in around the rod carbon compounds are there carbon particles are there upon that ammonium chloride is there so upon the carbon rod metal cap is there so carbon rod acts as a positive terminal zinc container acts as a negative terminal so due to reaction of ammonium chloride and carbon particles it produces energy that energy we use to 
blow the bulb or we use it to run the any machine or whatever it is so this is about dry cell you have to read the textbook and write about dry cell if there is any in our textbook the question you want to write otherwise i will post to you what is the question which is there